Alright guys, now as mentioned in my earlier videos, we're going to go ahead and do a beginner pack overview of all the cards that are available and try and figure out which one is the best to, to pick. Well, yeah, essentially. <laughs> um, so I already did this a little bit uh, before and my decision kind of still remains the same, but we're going to do a full card review and how to token wake in these bad boys. So let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, the beginner pack is now available for sale. It's only $10, so it's not a huge, you know, hurting on your wallet. Get powerful reinforcement right from the beginning. Economical and useful beginner's pack is now for sale. It's going to be on sale until 927, so we have about 10 more days before it goes away. I already purchased mine. I already have my video. It's probably going to go up either later on tonight or tomorrow. Uh, beginner's pack is suitable for all players about to start their own adventures. Trade the beginner's pack ticket for a powerful character at Baba Shop. Dragonstones, rare items, and awakening medals are also included in the pack. So you do get a little couple cool items. Not really enough awakening medals in my opinion i really feel like they should give us the like copper and the silver medals a little bit a little bit more of those when we purchase packs but i mean whatever uh anyway let's go ahead and talk about it so we're gonna first jump in with the pride regain super saiyan vegeta leader ability is technique intelligence strength type attack plus 30 percent big bang attack extreme damage to the enemy this is one of the og cards passive skill saiyan's pride key plus two attack plus 2000 when hp is 30 percent or below link skills are blazing battle super saiyan saiyan warrior race golden warrior and royal lineage he has max stats of HP of 7920, attack of 6700, and defense of 4325. He Doken Awakens with 7 Vegeta medals from the Evil Power Strike back event on level 18, Limit Smashing Super Saiyan. So you need to get 7 of those medals, and it's from this event, the Hero Extermination Plan Evil Power Strike back, so look for that icon, it's usually available over the weekend. He Doken Awakens into Reclaim the Summit Super Saiyan Vegeta. Leader ability is now Technique intelligence and strength type attack and defense plus 30 percent super attack is final flash causes extreme damage to the enemy unfortunately he didn't get the supreme damage modifier i really feel like they shafted him with that he should have gotten it uh passive skill is conflicted heart key plus three and attack plus 2500 when hp is 80 percent or below really crappy passive skill still that 80 percent or below i hate that because it's really like you're you're not going to be doing well if you get him in the first rotation he's not going to be hitting on her plus extreme damage kind of sucks Link skills are prepared for battle, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage, Blazing Battle, Shattering the Limit. Max stats are HP of 8423, Attack of 7031, and Defense of 4750, and a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Next card is the Swelling Power Super Trunks. Leader abilities attack plus 25% for all types. Super attack is Buster Cannon, causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Awaken Purpose, Weakens Regeneration, Attack plus 40% at the start of the turn. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Z Fighters, and Soul vs. Soul. Max stats are HP of 8175, Attack of 7691, and Defense of 4049. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 120%. He Doken Awakens with 35 medals from the Miracle Sword of Light events. That's this one right here. He Doken Awakens into Convergent Fury Super Trunks. Leader ability is all types, Attack plus 40%. Super attack is Buster Cannon causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for three turns, so that's cool because that stacks. Passive skill, Duel of Might. Key plus four and attack plus 60% at the start of the turn and weaken regeneration. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prepared for Battle, Soul vs. Soul, and Fierce Battle. Max stats are HP of 9021, attack of 8169, and defense of 4439, with a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Uh, what's cool about him, though, I mean, he did lose the Z-Warriors link skill, which now is a little bit more relevant. Um, if we go over here, sorry, Z-Fighters. Um, so that should be, yeah, it's attack plus 15% now, so that was a little bit more relevant. Uh, well, it's more relevant now. Anyway, the next one is going to be the Fruit of Training Super Saiyan 2 Goku. His leader ability is Agility Technique and Strength Attack increased by 30%. Supreme Damage uh, for Kamehameha Super Attack. That was really backwards. Passive Skill Super Sonic. Key plus 3 when HP is 99% or below. That's pretty sick. Lightning skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, and Family Ties. Max stats are HP of 8356, Attack of 7563, and Defense of 3873. Yudoken Awakens with 7 medals, again from the Hero Extermination Plan, Evil Power Strike Back, Level 9, a Legendary Fighter. Go ahead to that level, again available on the weekends, same exact event as those Vegeta medals. Uh, Yudoken Awakens into long-awaited serious duel, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Leader ability is Agility, Technique, and Strength Type HP and Attack plus 30%. Uh, his super attack is Super Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and raises attack for 3 turns. 
Faster skill is unbelievable speed. Key plus three for all allies when HP is 99% or below. Really cool for a team if you're lacking key and it's not restrictive, so you can use him essentially on any team that you really want for that key buff. Laying skills are Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Family Ties, and Shattering the Limit. Max stats are HP of 9076, attack of 7964, and defense of 4168, and a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Next card is going to be the First Awakened Super Saiyan Bardock. Leader abilities, all types attack plus 25%. Super attack, Final Spirit Cannon causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Courage, all allies attack plus 15% when HP is 50% or above. And link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Family Ties, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride. Max stats are HP of 8612, attack of 6645, and defense of 3755. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 120%, very low. Edoken Awakens, not yet on the global side, but he will soon. Hopefully it's the next banner. Uh, with 35 Mass Saiyan uh, Bardock medals, Mysterious Warrior Born from Darkness. So it's going to be this event. It should hopefully be out um, at the, either at the end of this month or the beginning of next month. We're hoping. There's no guarantees yet, guys. We don't know when it's coming. I don't know when it's coming. So hopefully it's going to be coming soon. When Edoken Awakens, Edoken Awakens is the possibility of a Super Evolution Super Saiyan 2 Bardock. His new leader skill is all types, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. So he actually has a really viable leader skill. You can, you can, you can bring him as a mini lead to almost any of the old school events and you will have an advantage just because you're giving everybody key and a full stat boost on all stats. Super attack is final spirit cannon and causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for 6 turns. Really freaking nuts. Passive skill, Bubbling Courage, attack plus 30% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, Family Taunt is prepared for battle, and Fierce Battle. Uh, his max stats are HP of 9907, attack of 7956, and defense of 4637. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Um, just because uh, he's going to be really relevant, we're going to go ahead and talk about his max potential. Max potential is HP of 14,907, attack of 13,356, and defense of 9,237. Apparently people have done this. Um, really good card, really like him. Uh, the next card we're going to talk about is Gohan, Unyielding Sincerity. Super Saiyan Gohan Teen, leader skill is, uh, leader skill is attack for all types plus 25%. Super attack is Super Kamehameha causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Fighting Instinct. Attack plus 70% when performing a super attack. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Z Fighters, and Kamehameha. Max stats are HP of 7707, Attack of 7250, and Defense of 4335. Hidoku Awakens with 7 Gohan medals from the Hero Extermination Plan. His 12 key multipliers 130%. The medals for him are available on level 13 Devastating True Power. Again, same exact event, Evil Power Strike Back. Go ahead and farm up those medals when it's available on the weekends. Edoken Awakens into Blast of Fury Super Saiyan Gohan Teen. Leader ability is now all types attack plus 30%. Super attack is Super Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill is the Feelings Back. Attack plus 90% when performing a super attack. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Z Fighters, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, the Saiyan Lineage, Shattering the Limit. And max stats are HP of 8230, attack of 7546, and defense of 4578. He has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. All right, so that's all done. Let's go ahead and figure out who we want to actually select. Uh, we're only going to go based off of the TUR variants. So um, let's uh, ignore. We're going to close out of that. There we go. All right. So I just closed out of all that, so that way we have all of the TUR variants of all of these cards. So this is just my opinion. All, well, most of these cards are really good. Pick who you want, pick who you don't have, pick a card that you're going to be utilizing the most. So as you all probably already know, number one for my choice is going to be the Super Saiyan 2 Bardock. I think that he is the most relevant card out of all the cards in this list because, well, let's just take a look at him. Um, first off, his leader ability, he could be used as a leader. That's really phenomenal. His passive skill is attack plus 30% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. That makes him super viable on a super mono heroes team. So that is a mono strength heroes team. So he is a staple in the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. He is the number one staple in the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team because of that passive skill. He is the number one support unit. But if you don't use him as a support unit, Let's look at this. Attack plus 30% for all allies. So he starts off with, a, with innately with attack plus 30%. 
On top of that, he raises his own attack for six, six turns. Now, a lot of you know I don't like that in a, that uh, attack buff uh, on the super attack for six turns. Because, yes, it's cool, but it, you're literally waiting towards the end of the event before it actually, you know, is taking full effect. So, and you have to have a super attack every time, which isn't too hard. He does have some really good link skills, like Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, um, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Now, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, and Family Ties are not as relevant. Though you can, I believe, Family Ties, the Super Saiyan God, Goku, the Strength one. I believe he has that one. I'm not sure if he... Let's see, is going to be... No, nah, he doesn't have that one. So the only one with Family Ties on Super SSR Strength is going to be the uh, uh, Barlot. So yeah, it's not going to be really worth it. Um, but overall, a very solid unit. He would be my number one choice. Even if you have him, you might want to consider opening up a dupe path. That's what I ended up doing, is I opened up a dupe path from the top left. He is semi-farmable with the agility Bardock card. You could feed into him. It's a little bit more rare to come by so when you're doing summons just because there's only one of them and it's not farmable, but you can Z-Awaken for 50% chance to feed into this Bardock. So, I mean, due to his SSR variant, it won't feed into this because this is Super Saiyan 2. The other variant is Super Saiyan. The number two choice is going to be this Gohan Blast of Fury Super Saiyan Gohan Teen. Now, his leader skill is kind of meh. He does do supreme damage. It's just that his passive skill, the feelings back attack plus 90% when performing a super attack, that is really good, um, especially because he is semi farmable with two different SR variants, the physical and the strength teen Super Saiyan Gohans. Both feed into him for a 50% chance after you Z awaken them. So, I, I believe mine's already at super attack 10 because of that. So, you could definitely utilize that. Plus, his link skills, Super Saiyan Kamehameha and Shattering the Limit really are viable on a mono hero intelligence team. Those three are really, really relevant. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Super Fierce Battle, so with the cards with that link uh, skill set, he's going to lack a little bit, but he is a damage dealer, and if you don't have a good damage dealer on your intelligence team, he's going to be my number two choice. Now, really, these two are both prime picks for me. I would personally recommend going for either of them. If you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, then it's really a 50-50 between the two of them, uh, unless you really want to get a Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Or if you're just waiting for Super Gogeta, you might want to get this guy just because he'll run decent on that team. Now, the next three, um, let's just do it like this. This Super Saiyan 2 Goku is really good because he is a key buff for all allies. Unfortunately, he doesn't do any attack buffs, but if you're lanking link, link skills, you can throw him on any team for support. Even if he doesn't need to be on the team, like a mono technique team. If you're lacking um, key for that team, you can throw him on there and he's going to give key for everyone. HP 99% or below is almost 100% of the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's very rare when he's going to be on the field when you start with 100% uh, health. Unless, like, you stun the enemy or unless you're just starting off the match. And even at that point... I mean, oh well, guys, you know, make, hit, hit a pod to do yourself a little bit of damage. <laughs> uh, he has some decent link skills as well, but overall, he would not be my primary pick, but he would be a runner-up if you don't have him, and you already have these two, and you just want the card because you don't have him. Uh, the next one would be, uh, kind of in, in tied with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, would be the Super Trunks, just because, okay, his leader skill is kind of meh, his uh, super attack is kind of meh, it's supreme damage and raises attack just like the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, um, so that's kind of meh. But his passive skill, Duel of Might, he plus 4 and attack plus 60%. So he's not going to be hitting super hard um, because it's only 60% attack buff. But he is super self-reliant on a mono hero uh, strength team, uh, physical team. He's always going to be getting off his super attack. You can technically run him now also on a mono villain's uh, physical team. You could probably link him with Broly for like one or two link skills because he's going to be able to get off super attacks on that villain's team just because he's giving himself key plus four and that definitely that makes up for it because then he's going to be starting every match with key plus six on top of his link skill. But that's also not something I would recommend doing, just something you can do just to keep in mind. But he is very self-reliant, so if you're running him on a mono's physical team, he will be getting off his super attacks almost all the time. He weakens regeneration, which is good for the cell event, so if you're having some difficulty with that, uh, that can definitely help you. And he has a decent link skill set, Golden Warrior, Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan. Uh, Royal Lineage can come into play, not too much on a mono physical team. Prepare for battle, definitely, and Fierce Battle. All really good link skill sets. Um, unfortunately, 12 key multiple, I mean, they all, they all have crappy 12 keys, because they're all like really old units. Last but not least, the last place card I'm going to talk about is Reclaim the Summit Super Saiyan Vegeta. Just because he sucks, 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, he's still, even with this TUR variant, he has uh, an extreme damage modifier. His passive skill is keep plus three and attack plus 2,500 for himself, which makes him super self-reliant, but it's only when HP is 80% or below. So you need to run this card on a lower health team, which really sucks. You don't want to really do that. Um, you would rather kick it in if it was like 30% or above, or even hell, even 50% or above. Might, it might be debatable, and your, your opinion may vary. But I think 50% or above would probably be a little bit better than 80% or below. And link skills are really decent, though. Prepared for battle, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, uh, Shattering the Limit. And, you know, even Royal Lineage, because he is Vegeta. So, like, he really has a really, really good link skill set. So, if, if anything, he is meant for his link skills uh, for a Vegeta slash Trunks team. But anyway, guys, that's definitely my uh, what I uh, believe you should go for. Definitely the Bardock number one, if you have that, especially if you have that Super Saiyan uh, for Goku. He's just an overall really good unit. He can be a hard hitter after he gets his super attacks often enough times. Uh, his leader ability is really good. You can run him as a leader, and he's a good support unit, and he has some decent link skills. Overall, num a really great a unit. He's a very solid unit. Uh, he's not the hardest hitter. He's not a Doken exclusive. But he's a good, and for the, the for being an OG character to what they made him, it's freaking phenomenal. Uh, and then this Gohan. So these are really going to be your two primary choices, guys. And then if you already have these guys, and maybe one or two dupes on each of these, then it's going to be these two. Um, it really depends on how you're on a run. You're not going to run the Super Saiyan two Angel, uh, the Super Saiyan two Goku on a mono team, uh, on a mono uh, agility team, just because it's not as needed if you have optimal units. So you might want to go with that Trunks, just even though he's not going to be the most optimal, you might find a little bit more use for him on that team. Unless you plan on running a double Trunks, Rage Trunks, the Mono Hero lead with keep uh, plus one, HP attack and defense plus 70%, because at that time you might want to use him for the keep. But anyway, guys, that is the review for the beginner pack cards. I hope that was informative. I know that was a little bit of a longer video. I just wanted to make sure I gave you an in-depth analysis on it. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new here, and I'll catch you guys later.